Hey guys, Saku Foxart here, and welcome to the Fox Den. Today we're reviewing the perfect world of Gentle Bros Cat Quest. So without further ado, let's get into it. Cat Quest is an open world beat em up RPG set in the possum world of cats. You play as one of the dragon bloods of legend in search of your catnapped sister. You'll pounce into the massive continent of Feline Guard, a world crafted in the style of overworld gaming maps of yore, filled to the brim with catastic characters, stories, and puns. Cat's Quest controls do a good job of reminding you of other beat em up RPGs in the genre, such as Castle Crashers or Dragon's Crown, but have room to breathe all their own being in the massive open world Cat Quest is set in. Controls are quick to pick up and easy to initiate, and I personally never found myself stumbling or pressing the wrong buttons in the middle of a fight. Movement also feels smooth and responsive, which is a great thing considering how fast AoEs can pop off. Not to mention that satisfaction you get while fighting a dragon with a bunch of minions and getting nothing on you but a scratch because you ended up dodging like a boss. Woo! My bad, I got a little carried away there. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Gameplay in Cat's Quest will remind you of that classic RPG style of the Oh, you can just do the main quest if you want to. But we all know that you don't fall for that trap. Everyone knows you should do a side quest to get you a little bit of a grind on and get strong enough to take on certain main quest tasks. And well, at least that's the formula most RPGs take. I know what your first thought is, is wow, that's gonna be boring and repetitive. On one hand though, I will say that it rarely felt that way in this game. Quest always seemed to keep my attention, and with silly dialogue between NPCs with their puns and all around playful writing, along with the rewards I could get for following them through to the finish, for the most part, always felt satisfying. Dungeons are a big part of this game, you'll find yourself going from caves to ruins wanting to take them on and clear out monsters just to snag what chests you can. But on that same note, there are golden chests in some of these dungeons that you can't get into until later, which can feel annoying, but is extremely satisfying when you finally get to open them. Equipment you wear levels up when you get duplicates from chests or quests, which is purely by chance. I personally found this slightly irritating at first, but it did force me to change up my playstyle from a pure tanky character to a more magic handy kind of guy, because of what equipment was leveling up more. Which actually made me appreciate the variety of spells that you can unlock in this game, be it from the healing spell to damage over time along with the spells that increase your attack output, they all felt really snappy and unique. You can also upgrade the spells you unlock with gold you get from literally everything you do. But be warned, it can be expensive. The world of Feline Guard is, a lack of a better word, freaking huge. And unlocking access to all of it is half the fun. Be it walking on water or flying, the cartoonishly crafted world and characters do a great job of keeping you pretty entertained, and the soundtrack only adds to the enjoyable experience. The Gentle Bros did a great job at making this world feel lived in and full. All in all, I was actually pretty impressed by this title. Controls were tight, gameplay was solid, and the story and side quests weren't half bad either. You get over the upgrading your equipment by chance rather fast, and rarely do you have that what do I do from here moment that can sometimes play games in this genre. With 8-10 to 10 hours worth of gameplay to collect all the items and finish all the quests, and then adding more hours starting up a Mew Game Plus for additional special items and challenges? The $13 price tag is in my opinion small potatoes compared to the amount of content you get. And with the Cat Quest 2 on its way this year adding co-op, now is definitely the time to get your paws on this title. Thanks for your support guys and for watching my reviews. I really enjoy bringing these videos to you guys and I really just love creating. Keeping you all informed so you can best decide if a game's for you, it's really awesome. And I mean, it's your money guys, and if these videos help you not to waste it, or help you to feel confident in that purchase, that that's what it's all about. So if you guys enjoy my videos, don't be afraid to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and click the like button so you can stay up to date with all my new releases. I want to thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.